Good morning, I'm off the wholesome route. Khaleesi, are you happy to go back out? You like outside better. I think she enjoys her inside time in the morning, but she always gets so excited to go back out again. She's truly a farm dog. Come on, Liam. You got a baby? Yeah. Are you playing with your baby goat? Yeah. This sweet baby. Yeah. 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 So we discovered the other day that Hearts wasn't producing that much milk. And I got worried about cinnamon not getting enough. And so Ryan was able to give him a bottle. He didn't drink that much. But where'd he go? We discovered that he was nursing on Willow here. So Willow has been getting emptier and emptier. And I thought, why is she drying off already? Well, it's because Cinnamon's been nursing on her too. What, well, buddy? Come out from under there, silly baby. <laughs> you hiding from the baby? I love you, Khaleesi. You're a pretty girl. You say hi, Khaleesi? Khaleesi, say hi. No? My goats are gonna come say hi. Hi, Rosemary. How are you, sweet girl? Oh, hi, Parsley. You sweet girl, too. They're all sweet. I'll tell you what, besides my husband and my kids, these animals are my world. Everything I do revolves around them. You may have noticed I sound congested. I am. I'm really sick. Liam's sick too. Ryan's sick too. Rowan had a little snurfle, but he didn't have much beyond the congestion. But boy, me and Ryan and Liam had fevers the whole nine yards. Buddy, did you fall? Here. Let me help you up. Oh, that's a big boy. Got it? All right, watch your step. There's lots of sticks and stuff over here. <sighs> so, basically, I'm struggling to do what I can. What I should be doing today is this bed. If I just get it raked right now, while that chickweed is so tiny, it'll just rake out of the bed easily. Um, and then I could get my garlic in the ground. I'm still waiting on my garlic from... Mike and Jenny at Pratt Family, so I haven't planted my garlic yet. That's partially why. But my horseradish is coming through the straw over here. It's doing quite well as a transplant. I'm super excited about that. We've got collards, not as many as I planted, but enough to survive. And we've got kale. And we got a few carrots there. And then this is the area I just cleaned the ginger out of. We got all our ginger harvested. We got some yellow peppers that have to get harvested or they're gonna get frozen because I think we're gonna freeze this weekend. And then there's some Swiss chard amongst these weeds here. And then those are turnips and rutabagas right there. And then there's a few beets here and there in this bed of weeds. So, I'm not sure why all of our seeds didn't germinate this fall, but it's better than nothing. But our big move now is going to be getting all of this covered for the winter with a sheet of plastic or a sheet of mulch, whichever we can get to first. And then these asparagus have to be cut back and mulched deep. So that's gonna be my next project. But garlic first, then asparagus, and then the rest over there. You almost startled me, kitty. I didn't see you there. You see the kitty hiding? 
She doesn't know I can see her yet. Oh, now you know. I see you, kitty. Hiding in the bushes. Yeah. Yeah, you're a sweet kitty. Yeah. Liam, it's not summertime. It's not time to play with the water. That's that's your summer toy. Yeah, I know. You don't understand the difference, huh? It would be too cold if we put water in there. You would get your chill. And you don't need that with your cold. Dada. Dada do it? Uh -oh. <laughs> no? Uh -oh. What? Oh, Dada's water over there. I should yeah. put it in here. <laughs> You're such a smart boy. Well, not today. Let's go on up to the house. You ready to go in? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in. I've still got all this mulch to use. I was telling Ryan what I want to do is get as much of it over to the garden as I can for in between the rows. And then there's going to be a thick layer still left underneath because your shovel just, you know, you end up shoveling into the soil if you go too deep. So leaving a thick layer of it in its place and using this as a bed to start some things. Um, it's kind of an awkward spot for fencing the paddocks because there's an elderberry right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's about that wide. There's just nothing but branches left now. But that's an elderberry that I haven't wanted to cut down. So I was thinking if I built from the fence to the elderberry a little section of garden that I could utilize for planting more stuff that, that that would be an easy way to do it because the mulch is already here work smarter not harder Liam I thought you were coming with me let's go what are you doing playing in the dirt all right come on come on All right, I'm going in. Bye-bye. Liam, seriously, come on. So as much as I would want to go and work in the garden right now, I gotta go back up to the house and take some more vitamin C and garlic and ginger and fire cider and whatever else I can get my hands on. I'm out of elderberry syrup. I'm out of elderberries and I don't have any money to order more so I don't have that which is usually my go-to standard. But luckily little Liam here likes vinegar so he'll drink vinegar for me at least. Oh, it's hard being sick and having a farm because you can't take a break. The animals still need to be fed. They still need to be milked. Everybody still needs care. So, when do you take time to care for yourself? You really don't. You really don't.